Hi, this tutorial is about connecting OpenHub door sensor son of RF bridge uh, flashed with Tasmota and Alexa. I will use a Digo door sensor uh, which is able to send three different codes. One when a sensor is open, then it's closed. If somebody just remove it from the door or window. After successful configuration, once you open a sensor, then Alexa should uh, give us a message. Your fridge is still open. Assume that you have uh, son of RF bridge module already flashed in with Tasmota. If not, uh, then uh, this is not covered by this tutorial, but uh, you can find on the description a link to my uh, website where I just put a tutorial step by step how to do that. Okay, then we go to the console and in the console we have all messages coming uh, from different devices uh, over 433 MHz uh, connection. So once we just open a sensor, we expect to see uh, we expect to see a message like here. And when we close again, should be another one arrived yep so the most important thing here is this data so this data is the separate code uh, for opening and for closing so i will use it uh, in further configuration in open hub in order to configure open hub you have to create three files uh, one is dot things define the bridge section with MQTT broker uh, this is my example and then you put uh, channels uh, to uh, the things uh, we use the contact uh, type and this is the most important which will be used uh, in our configuration I also recommend just to put for debug purposes also these ones uh, then when receive this uh, data you should see details uh, over here also uh, we need items where we define the contact uh, item and uh, sitemaps in order to see actually what's going on and visualize uh, the information uh, here I open sensor I close the sensor I open the sensor yeah it works okay next step is uh, open hub configuration for supporting uh, Amazon Echo uh, so what we need first is just to install uh, binding you can do it using uh, just the file addons.cfg uh, or uh, you can use your paper UI uh, to find and install Amazon Echo Control extension. You can read about this much more on the website in the documentation. We create again three files. Uh, for the first stage uh, it's enough to just create Amazon Echo Control to things uh, where we define bridge section with our Amazon account. Uh, there is a thing called Echo and the most important here is the serial number which now we do not provide the real one. Uh, I will just show how to check it what we should provide here. For now it's enough just to put some demo. You just open the browser, uh, put the IP of your OpenHub instance, then slash Amazon Echo Control, press enter. You should see a screen like here and your Amazon account details. 
and here you can see a serial number which you should provide now uh, you can put your serial number uh, here and add additional uh, details to the files in amazon echo control items g3 uh, strings and then we create amazon uh, echo control rules file where we define action actually uh, what happened after uh, our sensor will be open so in short when uh, sensor will be open it triggers timer and after 15 seconds uh, if uh, state is still open then uh, we send text to Amazon Echo and Alexa uh, should say uh, the following uh, message. If in meantime, uh, within this 15 seconds, we change uh, status to the close. Uh, so it means that we, for instance, close the fridge. Rule won't trigger. And basically that's it. Uh, thank you for listening and uh, put your comment below all details and all these things uh, are also available on my website. See you. Your fridge is still open.